got to go. What's going on people? It's the Xbox 448 and today guys I got Halo 5 news and um, I just want to say to all the haters out there, all the people that said Halo 5 didn't sell shit, uh, <laughs> I'm getting it straight from a guy's mouth that, I, I don't know, take, take it for what you will, take it with a grain of salt or whatnot, but Michael Pachter, um, recently did a, a q a with an audience and he went into halo 5 and how halo 5 sold and he told the audience that um from what xbox has told them you know told him that halo 5 sold on par with the previous halos with halos one through four so he also added that if you think about that you know conservatively that's about 10 million sales um so for all the people out there that were, you know, kind of telling people how Halo 5 is the death of Halo and how it hasn't sold and it's no good, it's garbage, all that good stuff, I guess the industry is proving you guys wrong. I mean, not for anything. Frank O'Connor got pissed off a few months ago when, you know, people were talking about Halo 5 sales and he let everybody know that within the first three months it had already sold over 5 million copies now that is that is those are sales numbers right there that any developer any publisher would absolutely dream of okay but not only that um michael packer goes on to say and I'm, I'm actually reading the article as we go here uh Pactor added that Halo 5's microtransactions generated more revenue for microsoft than sales from previous map packs from the previous halo games Giving gamers free maps keeps more players engaged and keeps them coming back to test out the latest update. Guys, check that out. When it comes to the microtransactions, there's been a huge, huge bunch of bullshit, not only on YouTube, but in the big gaming media about these microtransactions. I will let you know right now, I have absolutely everything in the game. Every weapon skin, every armor set, every vehicle. I have everything in the game and I have not spent a single dime, all right? Now, I'm one of those people that didn't spend the money, but it looks like these microtransactions microtrans generated more than actually selling those maps as DLC. So, if you look at it this way, optional microtransactions are giving gamers the choice on whether or not to spend this money, and we're getting free map packs in return. So, nobody is left behind when it comes to this stuff. With the way that they set up um, the rec pack, which is the micro microtransactions, like, you know, architecture in Halo 5. With the way that they set it up, nobody gets left behind, everybody gets the free maps, everything like that, and it is your choice, it is your option to spend money on cosmetics or, you know, getting those, uh, wreck cards. So you'll get, like, maybe more scorpions and stuff like that. Halo 5 is completely balanced out. When, when I'm talking about more scorpions, it's about a, a game mode called Warzone, right? And when you, when you burn a card, when you use a scorpion, um, you're gonna have to wait for your wreck to build up again before you go back and use another scorpion. It is very, very well balanced, okay? So when you hear people talking about the microtransaction uh, architecture, microtransactions in Halo 5 is shit, you can go back and let them know exactly how balanced it really is. Now, when it comes to the people that were hating on Halo, uh, of course, you know, there's absolute Halo haters out there. You know, people who prefer other pieces of plastic, other platforms that, that want to see this, this Xbox exclusive. They want to see it go away, which it's not going to. But then you get another part, all right? You get a part of the Halo community that um, I call them purists. And all they want is Halo 3 over and over again. And they talked about how much... Halo 5 is shit and it's not selling the way it should and all this good stuff. Guys, there, there are toxic um, groups in any like big 
gaming franchise in that community there are toxic groups but i want to let you know as well within the halo community there are a bunch of great people uh, a bunch of cool people that i met and i play the game with um i mean off the top of the head my boy zombie killer uh fuskies me and the don go in and play uh jimmy eat rose like i could go on and on and on about the the cool people uh, the awesome gamers that I've met within the Halo community. So just because the vocal minority yells the loudest within a community doesn't make what they say true. All right. And I just want to put that out there, guys. You know, just because you're hearing this loud scream that Halo Halo 5 isn't selling well. Michael transactions are bullshit. Uh, I don't like the clambering, the climbing, all, all that good stuff. Well, guess what, guys? Try it for yourself first all right try it with an open mind it needed to evolve but that's pretty much it for for now guys this is the topic if you like the topic you like the gameplay yo definitely hit that thumbs up button for me definitely hit up the comment section i want to know what you think do you trust what michael pactor is saying about halo uh about halo 5 and how well it, it is selling you know this generation um do you believe michael pactor is full of shit and you can't trust anything he says i'm really interested to know what you guys think so hit up that comment section and if you haven't subscribed yet definitely subscribe but as for now this is the xbox 448 and i am definitely signing off